surprised you didn't see her leaving. Yeah, weird. Anyway, I'm off out, but you're welcome to stay and wait for her. Caleb's here for Kim. All right, Nikki. How's things? Awesome. We're going wedding outfit shopping. Well, presumably for a wedding dress. Oh, no, not for me, Thomas. <laughs> ah. I don't know why you won't come with us. You can call for a morning on your own, can't you? Yeah, well, you know that's not what I meant. You didn't turn up at Layla's yesterday, either. Are you actually planning on turning up to the real event? Sorry, things were a little bit tense this morning. <laughs> Living in a wedding venue doesn't actually make planning one any easier. Yeah. And to be honest, I think he's missing his mum. Oh? Yeah, we've been talking about seating plans. And no matter which way we swap it round, there's still a gap where his mum would be and my dad. Mm. Sad. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, well, she sounded like a real character. <laughs> you know, it's left a massive yeah. hole. But at least I'll be able to meet the rest of his family, hey? Yeah. Right, car keys. Right, I will see you later. Yeah. Have fun. Bye. What have you been saying? Search me. I don't know half of the time. So what about us? What about us? Well, should we, um, should we talk? About yesterday? Oh, no, please. Right. Here. OK. So, which is which? For my laptop, for Kim's. You're going to help me? So, if you plug the other one into Kim's, then you're good to go. But you already knew all that, didn't you? What do you mean? Well, it's the definition of plug and play, which I reckon Adrian explained. So what do you really want? You know, if you talked to me earlier about your sexuality... God... We might have found another way. I just always assumed that it'd be a conversation that you could have with me. Yeah, cos it's a conversation you've never had to have. So you've got no idea. Not this alley. This alley. He can't be around while everything's going on, you know that. I realise it's difficult for you, but you've got to get rid of him. Once it's over, you phone him, you make it right, whatever you want, but for now, he has got to go. No arguments. Nikki! Stop! Hey, where have you been lurking? And you didn't tell me Ali was visiting. I thought you were going shopping. Yeah, I just need to drop off some paperwork first. Shame you can't join us. What, and spoil your fun? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'll see you later. I feel bad now. You know, you must totally pass for straight. Which, I'm not going to lie, is kind of weird. Not the weirdest thing about it all, but still. Come on, I'll buy your coffee. Spend my money in your fiancé's business. We'll book a holiday. Somewhere we can go and, and decompress for when you put all this behind you. I can't do this anymore. OK. Good. Well, then put an end to it. You'd be doing them both a favour. Don't. Look, it's not your not fault. Not that. This. Us. <laughs> Us? It has to stop. <laughs> You're actually choosing the lie. It's not a choice. How is it not a choice? You're picking her over me and you can't even look me in the eye. My family are very invested in seeing me get married. Gay people get married too. You said your family. Who? Do you mean your dad? Cos I'm starting to think a bit of disappointment might do him the world of good. It's not like you even see him. What if we book the holiday first? Before the wedding? Like a, an early stag do, except just the two of us. We can go and decompress together. Just hear me out. Uh, maybe by the time we come back, our little week, 
all right, long weekend of freedom might give you the courage you need to tell your dad and say, I'm living my life, not yours. You don't know what you're talking about. What if we didn't come back? This is my mum to think about. None of this is her fault. What if we go and visit her? What if the three of us spoke to your dad? Will you just stop and leave her, please? And leave me? Just forwarded more of the paperwork. Very good. I still have my doubts, you know. About what? About you, Caleb. Thank you. Oh, what do you expect? All I knew about you was the... Yeah, I know. Kane's brother. Nikki! Oh, hi. Uh, just need your autograph for this one, love. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Yep. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Cheers. <clears throat> he was in prison, wasn't he? Who? Kane, when you turned up here. The difference between me and my brother is that Kane's main street works against him. He's self-destructive. Huh. I use mine to get to where I need to be. Glad we're on the same side. Coffee. Oh, cheers. I can't help you if you don't talk. When did I ask you for help? You're not listening. Yesterday. The state you were in. And now? I've thought about it. So I'm waiting for you. Or are you planning on buying each other matching slippers and waiting for your golden anniversary? What? Bye then. If you really wanted to help me, you'd have already gone. Bit of advice first. If you really ever want to be happy, free yourself, Nikki. I am. Who knew she wasted so much time shopping for expensive handbags? Is that what she's doing? Oh, incoming email from Will. Anything interesting? Yeah. Turns out he's got a nickname for her. Hotcake. Listen, I dealt with that other problem. It's all that. Was it okay? What do you think? Can you trust him? Can anyone trust anyone? I'm sorry that you had to do that, you know. Well, listen, this is all coming together quicker than I thought. So I want you to get Gabby to bring the wedding date forward. The sooner we're done, the sooner we're out of there. I mean, Kim. She's handing us everything. Passwords, accounts, it's a gift. We're nearly there. It's that easy. I'll speak to you later. Kim? Do you fancy a brew? Uh, no thanks. I'll leave you to your important work then. <laughs> 